everyone. Um, okay, there's no one watching yet, so we'll wait for a few people to tune in. Okay, we have one person. We have a few people. Okay, guys, so I am very open with my um, workout routines with a lot of you and, you know, my normal training regimen, but a lot of people have been asking me about what I eat. Um, I actually just responded to someone's message a little bit ago about, like, the importance of diet as it pertains to working out. So... I just went shopping, I went to Whole Foods and got like a whole load of groceries for the week. So I wanted to share some of the things I got for you so you all can kind of like implement some of these um, food items into your own diets and maybe create some of uh, the recipes based on what I bought. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the protein that I got. Protein for me is the biggest source of my nutrition. I try to eat around like 150 grams of protein a day, which for most people is a lot, but for me because I'm trying to gain that muscle is actually um, right pretty much where I need to be at. So um, ground bison, this is such a good source of protein. It, is, it tastes so good. It's like, um, let's see, 23 grams of protein per serving in ground bison. Um, and you can put like different seasonings in this. Like I sometimes will make tacos and put like, you know, the different like types of seasoning on that or I'll just um, make a stir fry with it. So I always get ground bison. Uh, so I'm just gonna start putting the stuff away as I Name it off to you. So ground bison is one thing. This I just discovered at the grocery store. Actually, let me do first my other. Okay, here we go. Ground turkey. Same thing. I make stir fries. Oh, and we can answer some questions too. Um, if you guys have questions, I'm more than happy to answer some of those along the way. Um, ground turkey is also great. I like to um, make this in the skillet, ground it up, throw some seasonings in there, and then put it with some rice maybe some broccoli, put some soy sauce, some sriracha on it. And um, yeah, it's delicious and very easy. Um, I can pretty much make like a stir fry with this in 15 minutes and I'm done. So 94% um, lean, 6% fat. So this has 24 grams of protein per serving, seven grams of fat and uh, not even one gram of carbs. So this is a good option, especially for you people who are doing keto, which I am absolutely not because I love my carbs. So, we got the ground turkey. Um, all right, now we'll get on to some of my breakfast proteins. Um, they don't have to be exclusive to breakfast, but smoked salmon, big fan of smoked salmon. Um, I like to eat it with my eggs. I like to make like a breakfast sandwich using it. Um, so this for me is great. And um, I try to get a lot of protein in, in my breakfast meals. Um, I actually try to get a lot of calories in general in my breakfast meals because um, then I don't have to worry about some of them later on in the day. Um, Cause I'm one of those people like I just like go, go, go. And then I forget to eat. So um, smoked salmon. Now this I just discovered today, which I'm super pumped about. Spicy Italian with red pepper chicken sausage. Bomb. Um, and the reason I'm so excited about this, listen to these nutrients guys. Three, and this reminds me of my friend Elise. I don't know if Elise is watching, but I feel like she would be really excited about this. Um, three grams of fat, one carb, and 14 grams of protein from one of these. Like, that is some shit. All right, that's that's some good shit right there. Um, someone just asked me how long I work out at the gym. Um, I try to strength train five days a week. My workouts are usually, depending, like, how focused I am, usually between, like, an hour and, like, an hour 20 minutes. Really, you don't need to be in there longer than an hour, but you know, sometimes you're like chit-chatting with some people or whatever the case, or, sorry, there is a hair on me that is really bothering me. Oh, hold on, it's like one of my hairs from my head that's stuck in my shirt. Okay, um, yes, this is great. Chicken sausage, is Belinsky's brand. Never heard of it, but I'm excited. Um, where do I shop for groceries? I went to Whole Foods today, which I know for some people is a little pricey, um, because they carry like a lot of organic and more like, uh, niche products, but... Um, actually Whole Foods has gone down in price lately because they're owned by Amazon and I don't know. I feel like it's actually not too bad and it's convenient for me. So I like, uh, Whole Foods. Um, big fan of WWE. Awesome. All right. Now last protein we got here. We got peppered turkey bacon. This is bomb in the morning. You make a breakfast sandwich. I like to do, which I'll show you right now. I get Ezekiel bread and I do the, um, is this the low sodium or did I not get low sodium? Oh my God. Well, I don't think I got the low sodium, which I normally try to get. So that's fine. 
I'll be eating regular sodium Ezekiel bread this week. Um, so I get two slices of Ezekiel bread. I do like three eggs, usually one with yolk, two egg whites, maybe two yolks, depending. Do two slices of turkey bacon, a slice of pepper jack cheese and avocado and some Cholula hot sauce. Tell me you don't think that sounds delicious. All right, so we got the bacon. All right, that's all the protein I got. And like you guys saw, I don't eat regular bread. I try to eat Ezekiel bread. It's just healthier for you. It's sprouted grain. It doesn't have all the filler shit in there. And um, just calorie-wise, it, it, it's good. It has four grams of protein per slice, 15 carbs, half a gram of fat. It's pretty good. Keep this in the freezer, too, so it lasts a long time. All right, let's see. Do I love spice? Of course I love spice. I'm Italian. What do you think? All right, um, also on the uh, protein side, eggs. I love me some eggs, so I always get two cartons of eggs. Sort of getting extra large eggs because I'm like, I have to eat less. So, two cartons of eggs. Then I also got, when will I do a meet and greet? Um, I actually don't know. There's a couple of people who've asked me about meet and greets for the next few weeks. We'll see if I do them. My schedule's kind of all over the place, so. Um, all right, here's, we'll stay on the uh, the dairy train right now. I try not to eat that much dairy, and actually I'm not supposed to eat dairy, um, according to my coach, which... We won't tell him. Uh, cottage cheese. Love cottage cheese. Um, I got I get low fat. So um, just 13 grams of protein in this. Um, all right. We have Faye yogurt. This has this is like 0% milk fat. So 0 grams of fat in it. 5 carbs. 18 grams of protein. Yes. Um, Laker fan 251. You got to love the eggs. Um, what? I'm sorry. Uh, I have to set my hot sauce game up. What's wrong with Cholula? Cholula is a great hot sauce, but I also do sriracha. How's that? Um, can I make a pizza? Well, that is yet to be determined. Um, but yeah, I got some yogurts. Throw these in the fridge. I do need to clean out my fridge a little right now, so I'll just find room for them. It's fine. Um, okay, we'll throw you in there. Um, love from Egypt. Amazing. Can I make a calzone? Hell no. Ooh, Tijuana. What's up? Hola, senor. What else do we have? When am I going on first take again? That's a great question. Uh, hopefully soon. There's not as many fill-in opportunities right now because it's like prime time, you know, football season, basketball season's underway. Um, you know, we're in the postseason World Series of Baseball, you know, the, um, championship. So, um, right now there's not too many people taking time off. So, Hopefully, I'll be back on soon, though. Okay, um, baby bell cheese, mini baby bell cheese. Ooh, I love me some baby bell cheese. These are delicious. They're not too bad for you because cheese is usually pretty fattening. These only have three grams of fat per, like, little chunk. So, these are money. All right. All right. Um, let's see. What else did I get? All right. Um, let's move on to vegetables. Um, Astros or Nationals. You know what? I'm going to go with the Nationals because I went to college in Washington, D.C., so I, like, kind of followed the Nationals while I was there. Additionally, one of my friends from college is married to Ryan Zimmerman, so I feel like just as, like, girl code, I got to, like, support the sis, you know? Um, okay, I got some broccoli florets. This will go in my stir fry. I got green beans just because I love green beans. This is a big-ass bag. So it's be good if I have, like, some type of injury, too. I can, like... Actually, I do... My psoas muscle, which is, like, right on, like, the side, like, by your obliques. I was doing kickboxing. We do a bunch of, like, so I'm a little sore. I'm going to Theragun that out in a bit. All right. Um, also, where did I go to college? I went to American University in D.C., Northwest D.C. Um, when will I get into the ring? Well, that is to be, to be determined. I mean, you know, who's ready to step up is the question. No, I'm just kidding. Um... What are some of my favorite dances? God, I am um, the white girl dance, <laughs> which is me just like attempting to show some type of rhythm, which I, you know, don't necessarily have. Um, let's see. Do I like going to Rome, Pennsylvania? Sure. My whole family is from outside Pittsburgh area. So yeah, I like Pennsylvania. It's cool. I'm going to be there for Thanksgiving. Um, Connellsville and Uniontown is where my family represents. Okay. Asparagus. Good stuff. Um... If you guys want to hear a weird fact about me, this is definitely strange. Uh, everyone knows, like, when you eat asparagus, your pee smells, like, a little bit strange, right? 
I actually don't mind the way it makes your pee smell. I know that's so weird, and I've told people that in the past, and I don't know, it's just one of those <laughs> weird things about me. Um, yes, I work full-time for WWE. You guys see me all the time, of course. Um, all right, finally, arugula. And I bought lemon because I like to squeeze lemon on my arugula because it makes it taste better, and also it's like the lowest fat dressing you could possibly have because there's nothing in it. So that's what I do when I make salads. I just use straight lemon juice rather than use dressing because then you're just eating uh, basically pure vegetables. Okay. Um, what are we, okay, I'm almost done here. I bought this corn salsa today. I usually don't get this, but it looked good. I thought I could like throw it in with my breakfast or something. I don't know. It has a uh, red bell peppers, red onion, chipotle, cilantro, lime, salt, and black pepper along with the corn, obviously. Okay, um, throw the in here. I got great tomatoes. I like to put these in with my scrambled eggs. I like saute these ahead of time so they get a little bit softer. And then I put them in with my eggs and uh, with avocado. Delicious. So, yeah, a couple avocados as well. I also think that, like, I might be giving the impression that I'm, like, some phenomenal cook. Unfortunately, I'm still a novice. But, you know, I try to make things work. Okay, now we are down to just the fruit. This isn't really fruit, but it's jelly. I like to make peanut butter and jelly because who doesn't love peanut butter and jelly? Um, so we'll put that in there. And then raspberries, strawberries. I'll eat these alone or I'll put them with cottage cheese. I'll put them in my yogurt. I'll put them in my oatmeal. Shit, I forgot oatmeal. It's fine. Um, and then I got grapefruits because actually citrus is a metabolism booster, so I like to eat um, grapefruit in the mornings. And then finally, bananas. I put these in my smoothies, like it's like you all saw earlier. I have like whey protein, almond milk, banana, and either almond butter or peanut butter, and then that's like the greatest protein shake ever. Uh, gets a good amount of protein in for the day, good amount of calories, so I can, you know, again, not worry about it. So that is my whole shopping haul. Um, I spent... For all of that, $108, which actually wasn't that bad. They're all like really good ingredients. They'll last me the entire week um, with the exception of I might need to buy like a little more protein. But I mean, eating healthy is not necessarily the you know most inexpensive thing, but look, we only have one body, you gotta take care of it. And if you have like some goals, like I do in the gym, you wanna build muscle, you wanna lose weight, whatever the case is, you do have to eat a little bit healthier. So, um, you see, someone's going to send this into the Food Network. Sh sure. I also just whistled when I said that. Um, what else do we have? Health is important. Sure is. Um, okay. Manny Hernandez. Hi. Um, Yoshino Fish. Am I ready for Halloween? Well, I just celebrated Halloween this past weekend, so I don't know that I'll be dressing up again. Um... Let's see. No, I'm not uh, Marvin85. I am not plant-based at all. I am a huge carnivore. Um, I've considered possibly being a pescatarian, which is just fish. But as you can see, I didn't even buy any fish today except for the salmon. So the chances of that happening in the near future are not great. Um, let's see. Hello. Prime time. Hello to you in California. <laughs> would I rather have toes for fingers or fingers for toes? I'd rather have fingers for toes because why would you want toes on your hands? That'd be weird. Um, okay. Do I follow a meal plan? That's a good question. Um, I follow a macro based plan. So for me, that is, um, you know, according to my goals. So like I'm looking to build muscle. I'm not necessarily looking to lose weight. I'm looking to tone a little bit. But um, I eat like I think I'm at 51 grams of fat a week, 146 grams of carbs, and 146 grams of protein, which I actually just had adjusted by my coach, Nate. His um, Instagram is dominate, like dom in, in the number eight, if you guys want to follow him. Because um, I told him I was getting hungry during my workouts. Like, I'd have to, like, stop and get a banana. So I have added a few more calories in and um, a few more carbs, which I'm super pumped about. So that comes for me about, like, 16... 125 calories a week, which for me is still like lower than what I'm used to, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to be good. 
We'll see how it goes. You can always make adjustments. Um, let's see. Do I drink any supplements? I um I take protein, uh, whey protein. So um, I'll have like one to two shakes a day. Um, usually just with water, unless I want to make it, you know, like I said, with like the almond milk and the banana and all that. But um, I also take like a lot of vitamins. I can actually show you some of my vitamins. Um, I take omega three, fish oil, CoQ ten, biotin. This is for like hair, nails, and skin. I take a uh, multivitamin, gummies, because gummy bears are amazing. I also take gummy B12. I take a digestive enzyme with a probiotic. I try to take it before every meal, but usually I forget. So um, vitamin C, this is crazy. Um, an alpha lip lipoic acid, I actually don't really know what this does, but my coach says take it, so I listen. And finally, folic acid. And this is just good for women. Um, yeah. So I do take a good amount of supplements a day. I'm basically like an old person with my vitamins. I have one of these things that I like to travel with and put all my vitamins in. All right. So um, let's see. Wow. Okay. Yeah, a lot of vitamins. Um, again, no, I'm not keto. Um, I eat everything. I just try to eat everything, you know, in moderation. How do I stay disciplined? Okay, this is from Kevin O'Fla. Um, how do I stay disciplined with my diet when I'm traveling? Uh, it is difficult. I try to do my best, but sometimes things get a little out of control. By right? sometimes, a lot of times. Um, they get a lot of, they get very out of control even when I'm just in New York. Um, I went to brunch the other day and I ordered a burger, pancakes, and eggs benedict. So, um, then I had Thai food for dinner that night. So that was not great. But you know what? It's fine. Everyone, it's all about balance. Um, what's my favorite workout? I love squatting and I love deadlifting. I love lifting heavy weight. Um, if you guys saw my story yesterday, I was squatting 175 yesterday, which isn't my max, but for me, I haven't been lifting super heavy in a while because I've uh, been doing like lighter weight, uh, higher reps. So yesterday was fun to get back under that bar, get some weight on them shoulders and see what I could do. And I actually do feel stronger than I used to, which is great. Um, let's see. All right. Well, you know what? I am getting starving. So I'm probably, how do I control booze intake? Um, well, that's, you know what? You can't really, when you're drinking, there's no point in counting calories. I mean, look, a, one glass turns into two glasses, turns into three. Next thing you know, well, <laughs> it just goes downhill very quickly. So, I mean, look, I try not to drink all that often. I generally only drink maybe like one to two times a week. But when I'm drinking, it's kind of just like, you know, I try to eat a little healthier, knowing leading into it if I'm going to be drinking so I don't consume as many calories throughout the day. Um, who do I work out with, says Mike G. Um, I actually usually just work out by myself. Um, I love a lifting partner. Um, I really like respect girls that um, train hard and lift heavy. And I'd love to find a girl in New York who I could lift with. But um, right now, my schedule is just so crazy that I usually just end up working out alone. Let's see. Who is the best wrestler to interview? Ooh. You know, I love interviewing AJ Styles, the OC. Guys, the, you know, the um, Gallows and Anderson and AJ Styles are usually pretty fun. Um, yeah, I would say them. And then um, I also really, like back in the day, loved um, when I would interview Kevin Owens and Jericho together. Those were always really funny. Who is my best friend on the road? Oh, I'm, I love, like, the entire, all the girls in the locker room are amazing. Um... Naya, I can't wait for her to come back. I love Natty. I love uh, Naomi. I love you know, Liv Morgan. I love Carmella. I mean, I, I can't, there's no point in naming, I would name everybody. Um, favorite music to work out to? I mean, I love some good gangster rap. Give it to me. I want to get like real pumped up. Um, you know, I, I've got some soul in here, guys. You know, so I do, I love rap music. 
Um, but I do listen to a little bit of everything. Today I actually had a playlist on. It came up on my Spotify and it was best of 2012, which if you're on Spotify, that playlist was money. And I actually probably am going to put it on as I cook dinner here in a minute. Um, okay, some of you are asking this. Italian comedy. Love that account. You guys should uh, follow if you're Italian or not. They uh, have some funny stuff going on there. Hi. Um... Let's see. Someone asked what got me into wrestling. Honestly, I just kind of ended up with this position. I was a sports broadcaster, and it's a long story. That's for another day, because i got to get to cooking dinner here in a second. Um, let's see. Um, someone said I don't... Of course, Dave Wilson ate I Like Mandy Rose. Mandy is one of my favorite people ever her and Sonia like those are my girls so no I love them I wish they were on raw but you know you can't get them all um come to Brazil workout period I would love to come to Brazil I've actually been to Brazil one, like once for one day I went to full state Guasu to see the waterfalls beautiful so I would love to come back um Matthew James I was seven am I watching the world series tonight of course I'm gonna put that on here in just a second um Favorite workout brand brand to wear? Um, you know what? I have a few different brands that I like to wear. Uh, pants wise, right now I'm really only wearing Lululemon. Lululemon pants are, well, I live in them. I wear them to travel. I wear them to work out in. I wear them when I'm on the couch. They almost feel like you're naked. They're so comfortable. So I love my Lululemon Align Crop Leggings. Those are the ones I wear. Um, so these are Lululemon. And then this top is Forever 21. I got this for I think nine dollars and. A girl complimented me on it in the gym. So just goes to show you do not have to spend a lot of money on workout clothes to be cute and comfortable. And then my sports bra here is uh, Tap Out, which is one of WWE's brands that we partner with. Uh, my favorite chips. Oh, God. Um, my favorite chip. Oh, I love all chips. Doritos. Oh, salt and vinegar. Barbecue. Tostitos with lime. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 32. Um... Aiden McNamara, hello from Dublin. Hi. Kevin91660, I do love France. I was just there this summer. San Tropez and Cannes, it was beautiful. I'd love to go back. I'm actually think I'm going to Paris in a few weeks um, after we go to Manchester for Raw. Um, okay, I'm going mean, to ask three more questions and then I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. Um, okay, here we go. Let me find the good ones. Hmm. Favorite NBA player. That's a tough one. God, I do. I have a lot of players that I really like in the NBA. Um, you know, one of my favorites is Paul George, though, because I covered him when I was covering the Pacers um, several years ago. He's just such a great player, uh, really great mindset, great team player. I'm really anxious for him to get back. So uh, that'll be fun to see how he performs alongside uh, Kawhi Leonard. Someone said, what do you miss about Israel? Pay Pilo Sparza. What do I miss about Israel? Oh my God, everything. Tel Aviv is no joke. One of my new favorite cities. Uh, the food, incredible. The music, incredible. The people, amazing. Like Israel is just like a lot of attractive people all in one country. Like very beautiful people. Really loved Israel and really loved Tel Aviv. Actually loved all of Israel. Um, okay, so that's two. Yay. Can't wait for Manchester and Iran, Manchester, me either. Um, okay, here we go. Last question. Let's see, Alex, thank you. You have a good night as well. Um, okay. Paxicordi asked me, um, in TH Dance 12, my top is from Forever 21. Um, my favorite foods. My favorite foods, I love a good burger. Give me a good, I mean, I love steak. I honestly love red meat. I love all meat. Um, I love French fries. I love pasta. I mean, I love it all. Um, I just love food. So, um, you know, I'm trying to keep that in check, though. Oh, and I love sweets. God, ice cream. Be still my heart. I love ice cream. Um, okay, that's it, guys. Thank you. There's so many great questions here and so many people that have tuned in. I'm so happy to see that. Um, but I need to go eat dinner. So, um... Let's see. Leave. I don't know where I can tell you to leave the comments. Um, 
yeah, just let me know if you liked me doing this. I can do it more often. Um, I do obviously go to the grocery store, try to go once a week. So, um, and let me know what you want to see more of. Like, I do want to start showing you guys more of my fitness routines, more of my like diet uh, strategies and things like that. So we can, um, we can make this a regular thing if you want. But uh, yeah, let me know what you liked and didn't like. And um, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to go eat. And maybe I will um, Instagram a picture of my food that I decide to make. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and... See you later. End.